Well, over in Eugene, Oregon, TNT Rising star Jareem Richards was among the star performers on semi-final night of the NC2A's Outdoor Championships. Richards saw action in the mile relay for his University, Alabama, but it was in the 200 that he sparkled the most. We got our first glimpse of Richards as he prepared for his pet event, the 200 meters in the NC2A Outdoor Championship semi-finals. He went in heat number one and was the man to watch based on his form coming in. You can see Dream there, a tall countenance in the all-white of Alabama. Kyrie King running the turn very, very well. Kenzo Cotton of Arkansas is there in lane three. Richards leading off of the turn. Is Tareem Richards is going to win the heat? Can Kyrie King hang in there for second? Yes, he gets the automatic qualifying position behind Jareem Richards. 20.04 seconds with a tailwind of 1.6 meters per second. That works out to about four miles an hour. You're allowed almost four and a half. Let's take a look at what happened. We talked about his stamina and his free-flowing form that Richards has. The guy who's a little faster than he is at 100, Kyrie King, gets out on the turn, runs it extremely well. But here comes Richards. High knee lift. And that's exactly that same arm action and drive wound up having him overcome Christian Coleman indoors at the 200 meters. He would return later to help the Alabama Crimson Tide qualified for the mile relay final when he ran another solid second leg to ensure that he put his team in position to be among the top two and did exactly that as they made it home second to secure a lane in Friday's final. We wish him all the best as he seeks two titles and All-American honors with the Tide. But the man whom Richards handed his only loss in how many years, Christian Coleman, stole the show last night as he produced the fastest time for the year in the men's century, qualifying easily for the final as well. Coleman fourth from the right in the orange shorts, wow. and he's already this. gone. Christian Coleman showing everybody how it's done. Oh. And barely shutting it down. Oh. 82, and we haven't seen any wind-aided marks. So we don't expect one here. Wind is legal, 0.3 meters per second. What a time. Wow. That's the NCAA in a semi. And the fastest time in the world. And he was focused from the moment he came out of the block. Upper arm action. Look at the drive helping to carry him right through the finish. The stamina better than ever before. That's why his 200 meters is so great. It helps your 100, 200 is terrific, and you're able to carry that top end speed in a 200. You don't fade even slightly in a race like this. He would return in the 200 and look just as impressive as he turned on the Jets midway through the race to take the lead comfortably then, and he would shut it down in the straightaway to cruise home as if saving himself for bigger things on Friday night as he hopes to go even faster and secure the sprint double. I'm not sure who would be betting against him after these performances.